Okay, uh, well, my name is Shona Ramjanani, and I work at the Science Museum of Minnesota. And we were very happy and very lucky and grateful to be connected with this event because Aki, who curated the meal, is um, works at the Science Museum with us. And I particularly work with the Kitty Anderson Youth Science Center. And so we had some of our youth here from the climate change crew who are getting some great feedback. They've made a little app to track healthy food access in Frogtown. So being able to just get some feedback from Frogtown residents and community members on what they think of the app, any improvements or suggestions, and even to see if the app is something that they'd be interested in using. So that's kind of why we're here. Okay. Um, then you said a uh, memory. Uh, uh, a memory around food. OK, yeah. yeah. Um, a memory I have around food is um, just my mother trying to teach me how to cook food. And at the time, I was a very rebellious young child. And I was like, I'm not going to be like my mother. I'm not going to be in the kitchen cooking all the time. I'm going to be out. And so I never um, agreed to learn from her when I had the chance. And uh, then I moved to the United States. And many years later, in fact, just five years ago, I got married and I had a little time in between jobs. And I picked up some of the cookbooks that she'd given me because she still was hoping that I'd learn to cook <laughs> and uh, taught myself to cook from the cookbooks. And then I was like, oh, this would have been so much easier if she had shown me and, you know, if I'd paid attention when I had the chance. So um, now when she comes to visit me, we try to cook together. So it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, and I, I feel much more confident and much more happy. And I feel actually quite the opposite that I used to feel. I used to feel like it was taking power away from me. And that's why I didn't want to learn. And now I feel like it's given me power to control what I eat and how I interact with other people and to have people over. And sharing food is such a powerful thing. Um, so I'm really happy that I have a more uh, I guess connecting memory now with my mother and food than when I used to be a little child and not wanting to learn. <laughs> so what um, tradition would you pass down? What family food tradition you would like to pass down? Um, I think I would like to pass down um, even just a few of the Indian recipes that I grew up eating. Um, as probably with other cultures, you you know, don't actually eat traditional food in restaurants. <laughs> um, so while a lot of food in Indian restaurants is very familiar to me, there's many things that my mother made at home that you find in recipe books, but you don't, you know, get them in a restaurant. So I think those types of things are probably what I'd like to share with other people and pass on, because if um, people know what authentic food is, they'll enjoy it even more than, you know, some of the things you get in restaurants, so. Okay. Was there anything else you would like to say? Yeah, uh, this event was amazing. I think it was fantastic to get friends and family and community members in the same room. Aki did an amazing job. She curated such a great group of entertainment, of food, of stories, of sharing. It was great to be at the table with you and to hear everybody take a moment to reflect about food. It's such an important part of our lives. We can't live without it, and yet we never take time out to actually reflect and think and share. Um, so all the traditions that she shared with that were really amazing and I really enjoyed feeling like a community, you know, around food. So that was amazing. So could you say your name one more time for the yes. camera and, and where you're from? Uh, my name is Shona Ramjandani and I'm from the Science Museum of Minnesota in the Kitty Anderson Youth Science Center. Thank you.